Welcome back to On The Football. I have another video for you guys today. Today's video is not a review. It's actually going to be on some new things that I got in. I think a couple days ago, many of you saw that I posted on my Instagram uh, the helmet that I'm going to be using for the season. You guys had questions on it, why I'm not using uh, the Vengeance and things like that. So I'm hoping this video will answer your questions all about some of the things I have here and uh, why I'm not using my shut helmet. So first, before I get to this, let me show you the shut helmet that you guys are talking about. And I actually already did a review on this helmet. This is the Shut uh, Vengeance DCT Elite Helmet. Uh, if you remember, the Elite has the titanium face mask uh, and some other things, but the main benefit of it that I saw was the super lightweight titanium face mask. So here is that Vengeance helmet. As you see, it's in matte, matte black, my team colors, everything like that. So uh, the reason why I went with this speed, and many of you will know that uh, many of the attributes of the Vengeance I rated higher than the speed. Still think that's true. Uh, but at the end of the day, the helmet that I play with is going to be one that I feel most comfortable in and I think allows me to play my best. So I love this helmet, right? Super comfortable. You know, helmet looks good, everything like that. Uh, the face mask is aggressive. Even as I put it on my head right now, I'm like, wow, this is super comfortable. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll use it for a couple games um, and whatnot. But what happened was I was at practice and uh, you know, our fullback, Nick, he was coming up the middle and you know, I went in there like a boss and tried to hit him, right? And I smacked him, but when I smacked him, we hit each other so hard that even though my chin strap was like buckled in, tight, you know, didn't move, I didn't have this chin strap, I actually had my TCP on there. So this was snapped up, right? Buckled in, feels comfortable, feels secure. I like it on the back of my head, everything. But when I hit him, like he must have hit me so hard that, you know, the helmet bent down and the top, you can't really see it, but right here, hit the bridge of my nose. And it hurt so much, like, I was seeing like, you know, spots for a while and I was like, you know what, I can't have it in a game and you know, it makes me timid to hit, can't have that. So. I don't have I don't have my other speed. You know, I used to have a white one that I was using with the Lions. Got rid of that, sold it. it. Was like you know I'm not gonna use the speed because the Vengeance I like it better. It's more protective, everything like that. But what I noticed about the speed is that besides the fact that it's lightweight, um, it's comfortable. It's not nearly as comfortable as you know the uh, Vengeance that I have. Not nearly as comfortable, and I don't think it protects you as well. But it's not gonna slip down. When I buckle it up, look, here goes the TCP. Shit, my thumb still hurts. And I got a game coming up. Anyway, this is not gonna come out. I gotta fix the air in it, whatever, uh, before, you know, practice tomorrow. But uh, this is not gonna come down. Like, it just never has slipped, ever. So, that's not gonna make me, you know, timid to hit, things like that. That's the reason why I got a speed. Now, however, the speed that um, I use is not, you know, your normal speed. I always had these upgrades on there. You guys may have seen my Ultima Helmet build from last year. This is similar. So, obviously, my color's matte black. So, we're going to take a look at this helmet. Got it with a lot of upgrades. First upgrade that you'll probably notice is what I think is called the Blackout Package. Um, comes with a black bumper. Comes with a black, what they call a sweatband and comes with black jaw pads as well. So the inside of the helmet is black. Um, so everything is black on here um, and that's the blackout package. It's like 30 bucks from Riddell. You can have, you can order separately any helmet, just call them up and talk to the sales rep, they will get it out to you. Riddell is super quick shipping, that's why I love them. Um, then the next thing you'll notice, another upgrade is gonna be the strap locks. You know, I went with black strap locks, I got a black helmet, but um, obviously, the strap locks, if you have not seen that review, check that out on my channel. It allows your, your chin strap to stay on tighter. Um, you, you, it's not going to pop off, which means your helmet's not going to pop off, right? So that's why I get strap locks. The other thing, TCP chin strap. So you can see it here, it says TCP. This is a chin strap. Ever since they came out with this, that's what I use. Um, use it on, I have a couple of them actually. You know, there it is on the Speed Flex as well. 
Uh, but the TCP, check out that review. I think it's my favorite chin strap. I actually was using it with my Vengeance. That might be why I had a problem. I don't know because the TCP is made specifically for the Speed and the 360, not for any other helmet, just the way it is. So I'm not sure if it fit exactly on the shot the way it's supposed to. Um, but again, I just put the helmet on, I'm like so comfortable. I don't know. I'm going to have to maybe use them both. But anyway, that's the, the blackout with the Speed. Next thing that you'll notice in my Instagram pic is I have a face mask from Green Gridiron. And this is the S2EG face mask. The S2EG is the S for speed, 2 for 2 bar, um, 1, 2, and um, EG for eye guard. That's this extra bar right here. And this is the carbon steel. The carbon steel is heavier than what's on this helmet right here. This one is the lightweight, so this is the S2EGLW for lightweight. This one is the carbon steel. This is the older, heavier face mask. So you guys might want wonder why I wanted the older, heavier face mask than the new lightweight. The new lightweight one comes with every helmet. Now, when you order it, these are the ones that come with it. This is the lightweight. This one, which is the heavier one, the older one, is now custom order. It's super hard to find. You're probably wondering what are the differences. First difference, the bars on the older one, this right here, are thinner. They're thinner because to make it lightweight, they hollowed out the bars and they made them a little thicker. So they're, they're a little bit thicker. Uh, the other thing is the shape. You can see how this comes down. Put this down for a minute. See how this comes down and it's a little bit thinner? And then look at the bottom. See that little, like, I feel like it's a dragon or something like that. You know, it's just a little more aggressive. See that shape of it? Now when I show you the other one, hold up. There it is. There's the bottom. This is the old one. This is the new one. See how it's more round? See how this one is not round? It's like a little dragon. This one's round. Not round, round. Old, new. I like the old. You can also tell us the older style because look right here. I'm gonna have to put this on right here. All right, so look right here. See there's a space right there. It comes down because it's thinner. There's a space now. Gonna look at this one. See the bar? See there's no space? Right there. Okay, we're gonna look at this one. Right here. See there's a space? No space and a space. No space and a space. So those are some of the differences. Now, one of the most important things is on the new one, no visor fits. You can't fit a visor on here. They look very similar, but you can't fit a visor. These bars are too thick right here to fit any uh, uh, bracket in and then to fit a visor in because the shape is different here, you can't fit a visor. This shape comes out a little bit more so you can fit a visor just a little bit. And you know what, they say these, the sidelines should still be good. So I'm gonna test that out. I'm gonna switch the helmet really quick. Uh, with that face mask I got from Green Gridiron. If you want a, a face mask, they have every face mask available ever. So I could have went to Riddell and got the face mask and waited six weeks, but no, I wanted it right away, so I went there. Now the other thing is you can't just get a face mask uh, because the bars are thinner. You've got to get a whole new kit. This is the speed kit, quick release kit for the older face mask that are the carbon steel. So they have two different release, uh, quick release kits. You can't just use the old same one. So you see it's kind of adding up because the face mask is 30 bucks and then this including shipping was 40 bucks. Then the last thing is a visor from Enhanced uh, you know, Football Shields. Um, this one is a 60% mirror. So you can see it already. You can see that mirror tint 60% gonna be looking good it's brand new unscratched um, you can barely see my eyes through it but this is what I'm gonna be using for the season so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna get my tools switch this all up 
put the visor on and everything and show you the end product. So I'll be back in like, well, you guys will see it right away, but it's gonna take me like 20 minutes to do. So wait a second, I'll be right back. So here it is, uh, flip the face mask, switch them, put on the S2 EG, the original one that has that curved, you know, dragon dinosaur look or whatever. Uh, this one fits the visor, as you can see, a 60% mirror. You see the mirror tint in there. And if you look at the background, I actually swapped some of my visors. So I put the blue tint Under Armour visor on my USA helmet, and I put um, another visor 60% on my Vengeance. Um, still, no, I'll probably use both of these, the Vengeance and the Speed, throughout the season. But here is a look at the all black, black dot speed with all the upgrades with the new 60% mirrored visor from Enhanced Football Shears. So, uh, hopefully you guys like this video. Um, there's going to be a lot more to come. I Camp Diary Season 2 is kicking off in about a month or so. There will be some teasers out. But other than that, if you like my video, remember to give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.